Hey everyone, this is Jackie and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create the outer V on the outer edge of your eye. Not only does this add intensity to the whole eye, but it also adds depth and it adds dimension and it also contours your eye at the same time. Now, I'm going to be showing you two ways of achieving this look, one on each eye. The first eye, I'm going to show you how to create the sideways V with makeup brushes and the other one I'm not going to use any makeup brushes but instead I'm going to be using a good old q-tip. So I understand that there are people out there that are still beginners and they don't own any makeup brushes and that's okay I'm here to help you guys and sit tight everyone I'm going to show you how to do this. So for all the beginners out there that aren't really sure where your crease is located we're going to help you locate it for you. So now we're just going to be taking a q-tip Make sure that it's clean or a makeup brush of any sort and we're just going to be pressing around the eye area trying to find the crease. So right up here you should be able to feel your brow bone. Now if you move just slightly uh, below it your q-tip should start sinking in and this is your socket line also known as where your crease color is going to go. Now we're going to start tracing the socket line all the way to the outer edge and right where that socket line stops and you hit another sort of a bone on the outer edge, this is where your outer V is going to go. So now I'm just going to be taking um, this dark gray shadow. This is Smoke by Smashbox. And I'm just going to be going into that with my Q-tip and I'm just going to mark down where my socket line ends at. So that's right here for me. Now taking a small tapered blending brush, this is Sigma's E45, um, I'm just going to be taking this brush and then just going into that uh, deep grey color and I'm just going to start from this point right here and sort of draw a line that connects from this dot all the way to the lash line. But make sure that you're not going straight down here, you're sort of going in an angle. Alright, so once it's drawn in, it should look like this. So again, you're not drawing straight down from that dot. You're sort of going in an angle towards um, your pupils. Okay, now picking up more color with the same brush. And again, we're going to be starting off from this point right here. And now we're just going to be moving on to the crease. So from this point, we're going to sweep some of this color onto the crease. So now I'm taking a clean blending brush. This is Sigma's E35. And if you want, you can pick up a little bit more of the uh, gray eyeshadow. And I'm just going to be blending and smoking out the outer V. So once that's all blended out, your eyes should look like this. Now it's time to do the other eye, but this time we're not going to be using any makeup brushes whatsoever, but this time we're going to be using a good old q-tip. And I'm just going to be marking the starting point of my outer V. So now that you have your outer V drawn in, you can go ahead and blend it out. Feel free to pick up more product on your q-tip. So remember to blend it out and smoke out the whole eye area. Here is a quick comparison between the two eyes. So this lid is the one that's blended out with a makeup brush and this is the one blended out with a q-tip. So there you go guys, um, I know that this is a very short and sweet video, but I do hope that you guys found it helpful. Um, whether you have makeup brushes or q-tips, you can still achieve the same look. So let me know what you guys think in the comment box down below, or if you want to see any more um, helpful tutorials. Uh, I'll be glad to answer any more questions or comments or whatever, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! He's obsessed with this song. You can still hear it through my walls.